at the same stop as the Musée Verein, welcome to Karlskirche or St. Charles Church, a church with plenty to offer to the visitor. The church is a Baroque beauty, classical music, and a rare chance to get up close to the workmanship of the original artisans who painted the dome. Welcome to my barrio, my mundo, and welcome to Vienna. Probably not in the guides, but this is one of the... Uh, this is rather the best uh, Baroque architecture in the city. It's just a stone throw away from the Musikverein, and there are concerts here as well. Tonight we'll be watching the Requiem by Mozart. What's a visit to Vienna without watching or going to a Mozart concert? After all, this is where he developed. Unlike many of Vienna's great churches, Karlskirche can be approached from a distance as you walk across the open area before it. Tip! Immediately after the ticket office, turn left and take the stairs, and you will be treated to this view. From this height, you see the full glory of Skonsler House and Musikverein buildings off to the side of Karlplatz, but also catch glimpses of Stephen's Dome Cathedral, the domes of the Natural History and Arts Museums, the City Hall, and more. And on the way down, stop at this room or this balcony to get a closer look at the organ and on the church's interior. As you might expect from a Baroque place of worship, the inside glows with a smorgasbord of decorative delights, rich in marble stonework, wall paintings, reliefs, stages, scroll work, and carvings, with regular splashes of gold, and all in beautiful condition. Call it as pollution to the architecture, but a scaffolded tower off to one side of the dome contains a panorama lift that takes you up to the ceiling for a dual treat. If you want to take a closer look at the frescoes under the dome, this is useful. Just a brief history of the chairs as we approach the altar. During the Great Plague epidemic of 1713, Emperor Charles VI had promised to build a church when Vienna was free from the illness. Karl's Kirche was built in dedication to St. Charles Borromeo, a revered healer who plague sufferers. The construction of Karl's Kirche in Vienna was a slow process, and it was finally opened after 25 years in 1737. Kerke is more subtle than some of its over-exuberant colleagues, though with enough white spaces to give the senses 
at rest now and then. As with most of Vienna's great churches, Karlskirche lent itself to classical concerts. For example, Orchestra of 1756 commonly performs Mozart's Requiem. That's what we're seeing tonight. Don't go away and be about these four seasons here. It's forbidden to make a recording, but I have a clip, an audio clip of earlier performances. Mass. It was before, and I don't know. It was a 16 piece choir. The, it's a Baroque church, so I think the acoustic was not uh, designed for singing. I don't know. It's that. In, we can compare this to the music we write, but I enjoy this. I enjoy it to different ways. So, something to do while in uh, Vienna. I did a concert, and this is one of the Thank you for joining me here today in Vienna as we share the beauty of places, events, and cultures. I'll be leaving some clips of the neighboring attraction, the music Don't forget to come back for more of this kind of content. See you on the next video.